What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and welcome back to another Mega Mailbox Mania Monday video. We are joined live by our Twitch chat here. It's Friday nights. We are all hanging out and having a good time. All of our Twitch subscribers are here, and they are over in the chat over there. Hey, I pointed in the right direction for once. I'm looking on the wrong direction, but I'm looking at my screen. It's over there, but it's also over here if you're looking at the bottom screen. So if you're looking up here, it's over there. If you're looking over here, it's down here. So it's 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 actually in both directions at the same time. Gotta love it. Uh, we got a lot of mail submissions here. Actually, a good chunk of them are here currently in the Twitch chat. So if you'd like to be here live and join us in real time, <laughs> one of our submissions is right there from TL Warrior Thomas. Thank you for the 10 bits there. TGIF. TGIF indeed. Um, if you want to join us here live on our TCG openings, we do these every two to three weeks or so, usually on Saturdays, but sometimes we do them on Fridays if scheduling is, you know, not really there. Um, so join us on twitch.tv slash pkmnevolutionaries. If you are a subscriber, you get to watch this and don't have to watch it on YouTube. So that's always a plus. Anyways, uh, and not to mention the stuff that happens in between the videos. I always talk for a while too. Let's go ahead and get started here. This video is probably going to be pretty long, so I hope you guys got some popcorn. Uh, my house currently smells of popcorn because my wife just popped it right before we started. So now it's making me hungry, but oh well. All right. First up, we have our first submission here, and this one is from David Roach. David Roach is a, uh, at this point, been a very, very uh, consistent uh, contributor here on the Mega Mailbox series. Lots and lots of envelopes have been sent. I actually combined three of his envelopes here into this one because uh, he usually sends them in smaller ones at different times. Um, and more have come like over the last few weeks. It's been about three weeks since I've done one of these streams. So there's been a lot of stuff to come in. Uh, this is interesting. These look like uh, little pot holders. I wonder if he made, he probably made these. I'm going to guess. But our note should tell us here, I would assume. There's another one there. These are neat. Nice job. All right, let's see. Oh, what in the world? Oh, shoot. We got a signature card. Yo, check it out. We got the Galarian Farfetch'd signature card. Well, technically, it's a signature sleeve. Right there is the signature. That is awesome. I'm going to add that to our fan collection of uh, signature cards. Be safe, be happy, be healthy, always smile. Dear Professor K and John Brady. <laughs> I forgot about John Brady. <laughs> oh, AKA Professor N. I really wanted to thank you guys for everything that you do. It really warms my heart when they when you open those cards and there are two coasters. They're coasters, they're not pot holders. They're coasters for you and Noel, your friend Dave Roach. PS hashtag Sparkle Army. And Black Cat, can you do a Mega Yeet on Professor K for me? Uh-oh. I'm not joking. It says it right there. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm going to warn you guys that if he, if he does do it, it's going to be very, very loud. And you might want to not be wearing headphones. Uh, but he may not do it either because I think he's trying to save up for something bigger. So now I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just going to be terrified the rest of this video. Anyways, there are the two coasters here. Um, I'll make sure that he gets his. He couldn't be here today because he had to work, uh, and tomorrow did not work out for us, unfortunately. So, yeah. Well, in this case, it'll be Saturday, which was in the past, if you're watching on YouTube. Makes sense, right? Okay, we have all sorts of sleeves of cards here. Um, let's see here. And one, and two, and three... K1, K2, K3. All right. I guess I'll start with Noel's first. Posters for my banana tuna milkshake. Oh, gosh, Grove Island. That's disgusting. <sighs> All right. So we have a Regigigas. Ooh, that is a promo full art Eevee. That is gorgeous. Oh, man, look at this. Umbreon and Darkrai. Oh, I love the promo Umbreon and Darkrai. The artwork on that is amazing. Espeon and Deoxys, another one. They did so good on these uh, particular um, uh, promo cards. We got a Caracosta GX. We have a Glaceon. Oh, Sun and Moon number 238 promo. 
Leafeon, 237, Sun and Moon, Alolan Sand Slash, and a Pikachu Sun and uh, Sword and Shield promo. That one is number 39. Very nice. This is the serial one, is it not? I feel like it's the serial one, or yeah, I think it's the serial one. Very, very nice. All right, wow, we can make sure N gets this one. That is very kind of you, sir. I know he's going to be very happy to see those. Let's see what's in sleeve number two. Shove it, squub it! Oh no! Shove it! Shove it! <laughs> Cubone! Suicune! We got a Magikarp, a Curlia, and a Ralts. Alright. Shove it, squub it. Even in TCG openings, we cannot escape the squub it. All right, and in the final sleeve for N, we have a Professor Sycamore, a Gyarados Spirit Link, a Great Ball, Bursting Balloon, All Night Party. We got Shauna, Team Rocket's Handiwork, Karina, Trainer's Mail Reverse, and oh, I thought there was another card, but it's just a thick card, I guess. So those are all for N. I'll make sure that he gets those, like I said, uh, tomorrow, actually, at least at the time of streaming. K1! K1 has Eevee featuring Chatot, Tyrogue, and Rhyhorn. This is Sun and Moon promo number 235. We have a Pikachu, Sun and Moon number 234 promo. We got the, <laughs> the Derpy Eevee <laughs> Sun and Moon promo number 233. This is just a crazy looking card. <laughs> Pikachu GX, 232 Sun and Moon, Vic Volt, 208 Sun and Moon, Tapu Koko, Sun and Moon, number 50. Is that the shiny one? That's the shiny one, isn't it? I, th I hope it is. If it's not, then I feel stupid. I can't even tell. They, the way that they shade it is ridiculous. Uh, Lunala GX, Sun and Moon, number 17, and another Sun, uh, Sword and Shield Pikachu, number 39. It is! Okay, see? that's They always mess with me. Every time I see them, I'm like, I can't tell with that shading. You remember that one video that I called a shiny Tapu Koko box and it wasn't shiny and I had a shiny counter every time I said it was shiny and it wasn't shiny? That's how I feel every time now. I, I question myself constantly. Okay, we have a Mewtwo, a Pinsir, not the Grip and Squeeze, Curlia, a Ralts, Pinsir, again, Pinsir, Chaos Tower, Oh, that Lugia. I love that Lugia card. Should have been a Hollow and a Golit. All the way back from Plasma Blast. That is a Plasma Blast from the past. <laughs> I'll see myself out. We have a Pikachu. We have another Suicune Reverse. Get out. I knew it was coming. Magikarp. Another Mewtwo. Professor Sycamore, Bursting Balloon, Mega Catcher, hmm. Team Rocket's Handiwork, Ultra Ball, Judge, and Monkey. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, David, thank you very much, as usual, buddy, for all of these awesome cards. Uh, you have sent in so much stuff, and we really do appreciate it, man. Thank you for being a part of this series for so long. Uh, always nice to see. All right. So, we'll take these still like on edge I saw mega catcher and it just reminded me of the mega yeet thing hmm. uh, okay next up <laughs> I'm gonna be worried about this forever next one here is also from someone who has been uh, uh, contributing a lot recently um, and that is um, Jake so remember the Christian magician Jake I have been praying for you and your wife. Much love. Hey, dude, you have been a incredible person as well. Thank you for all that you have done. We have some Werther's Original, which are, like, the best candy, because butterscotch candy is, like, S-tier. Just saying. There are some pictures in here, I know, of him, and um, he told me about it, that there are some pictures of him doing some of his uh, his magic and meeting people and things like that. So there are some pictures in here that I know I'm okay to share. Like I said, we got some Werther's. Great candy. I love it. I know. I know it's an old person candy, but I'm still... I've always liked it, even since I was a kid. So I guess I've been old since I was a kid. 
That's no surprise to anybody, though. All right, here we go. Dear Professor Kane, and in close, I have pictures of the shows I'm doing with a bookmark for each of you. And there are... And a Jurassic Park towel for Lucas. Much love, Christian illusionist Jake. And please sing a song. Ah, he's not here. So here's your song. From King Holy. <laughs> you can listen to Thunder by ACDC. <laughs> that timing was epic. Thank you, King Holy, for following at like the perfect moment right when he asked for a song. Welcome to the stream as well. So here's the bookmark. Um, like I said, he is a Christian illusionist, so these are some Christian bookmarks here. Appreciate that, buddy. And this was the Jurassic Park towel. Oh, gosh, this is so cool. Look at the dinosaurs! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. This is great. Thank you, Becky, for sticking up with me on the Worthers. Worthers are great. But yeah, this is a really cool washcloth. So thank you for sending this as well. He's going to love it. And he loves dinosaurs and Jurassic Park and all of that stuff. So I feel like I heard him like getting excited in the background there. <laughs> and here are some pictures. So, like I said, he's included some of them at his show. So there he is there. That's Jake with some people. And there he's doing some of his acts, as you can see. <laughs> Oops, that one's upside down. There you go. That's like the never-ending handkerchief trick, I think. And there you go. Thank you very much for sending these in and sharing, Jake. Really appreciate that. Really cool to see you in action there, man. One day, maybe we can see you at a show. All right. Is that. Um, okay, so then I'll do this one. Oh, actually, there's another one. Oh, man. There's more than I thought. I thought I had seven, but I actually have more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I have eight, seven, eight, nine, something like that. I don't even know. Uh, let me see. I don't think there is any address information. No. No address information to worry about on this one. Uh, this just has our P.O. box on it here and here. So if you are curious at all um, what our P.O. box is, there it is. So if you'd like to send in fan mail or be a part of the series, that's where you would send it. P.O. Box 15194, Brooksville, Florida, 34604. There you go. All right. Let's open this one up. Oh, I'm glad I did this because that is a self-addressed stamp envelope that we do not want anybody to see because it has information on it. Um... Glad I saw it. That's why I always check. Why'd you leave the kids up on the table? Table. We got tables. Simu, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Glad you're able to catch the stream here. Um, we have some taped up Battle Styles booster packs. Nothing in them, but they're like taped together. Maybe we'll get an explanation of that here. We got some drawings. Will you please sign these cards and send them back? Thank you. Absolutely, we can definitely do that. Um, let me see if I can see what cards they are, maybe. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through the tape or not. I didn't bring my scissors over here because I usually pre-cut everything before the stream in anticipation of opening it all and not having to spend a whole bunch of time opening stuff. Hey, we did it. We're going to sign some Flapples. Yes. Flapple. Let's do it. Foxhole, thank you for the 10 bits. Gotta love it. Here we go. Hi, Professor KNN. I have sent you both two Pokemon cards. I hope you like. Sorry, I'm late. Jables, what's up, buddy? Golf with my brother. So I got something to make up for that. This is my first time sending you. Pokemon cards. Awesome. Thank you for the 30 bits, buddy. Hey, no worries. I actually have always wanted to play disc golf. I've never gotten the chance to do it, but I've always wanted to. I do play real golf uh, on occasion, and I do enjoy golf, so I know I would also enjoy disc golf. Cannon, could you please sign the cards? I'm a big fan of you guys. Absolutely. We can definitely do that. Um, thank you also, like I said, for sending the stamped envelope to put them back in. So we'll get those out to you. No problem at all. Put that down there. Um, we'll do this here. Jables! Hey! Gifting out five subs to the community! 
Thank you so much, Chables. We got gifted subs going to Iron Kid, Mouse Alchemist, VVV's, VVV's Mac, Florida State, and Full Metal Fury. Grovile, thank you for gifting the sub to Lucy as well. We got a lot of sub love here in this video. Oh my goodness. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get some love and hype in the chat for uh, for Jables and Grovile. All right, so this says for PK, meaning me. We've got a Meganadel and Guzzlord GX card. Look at that. Very nice Ultra Beast GX. Violent Appetite. That sounds like me when I don't eat for too long. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, now there is uh, this in here as well. I guess this is the note. Yes, it is. All right. So, the actual note says, Dear Professor K, my name is Gunnar and I'm six years old. Hey, you're the same age as my son. That is awesome. Lucas is six. I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm sending you this special package with cards for you to... A package and cards for you to open. I am sending some pictures I drew. I love watching your videos. I never miss one. I know you need an Oshawa Hollow from 25th anniversary, so I give it to you. Oh, shoot! The McDonald's one! Yes, I actually did need this one. I'm missing, like three or four cards and this is one of them well thank you Gunnar I appreciate that and we're still trying to get that collection fulfilled so this helps a lot thank you so much man uh, I have thousands of Pokemon cards and I just can't stop watching your videos and seeing all the cool cards you get like Charizard VMAX it's so cool Professor N PN I'm gonna say Professor N is probably what you meant by PN but I don't like calling him that so you just made me call him this <laughs> Without even realizing it. Uh, and you pulled one. Hope I can meet you someday. It would be great from Gunner. Thank you very much, Gunner, for sending in um, all of this awesome stuff. We got some uh, more envelopes there. And also there was a Magikarp. This is from the Detective Pikachu set. As you can see right there. It's All these cards are hollow. So that's from, uh, from there. And then we have some artwork here. So we have a Mega Ampharos drawing. This is very, very good. I knew exactly what that was right away. And then we have this Articuno. That's very cool. He's got like a combination thing going on though, I think. Is that like a combination with uh, another Pokemon there? And then we also have this whole scene. I, I, I feel like that's a Butterfree. Uh, that's a, it looks like a Glade with maybe some wings. I'm not sure what else is going on here, but this is awesome. Did a great job, buddy. Thank you so much. These are really cool. I have all of the fan artwork that has ever been sent to me and every letter that has ever been sent to me, so I will be sure that this goes right with it. Uh, you guys should see the Tupperware bin that I have full of mail over the last seven years. It's crazy. So all of these will be sure to go in there. Uh, let me see. I'll put them there. And let's see what we have here. I'm going to open up uh, ends first for him. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Feels so good to finally see a live recording. Well, welcome seeing your first live recording here. Yes, it is awesome. Uh, we have a good time here on Twitch where we do all of these together. And uh, everything that happens in between is also fun. So, for N, we have a Magikarp. We have an Azumarill. Venusaur Spirit Link. We have a Conkelder. Caterpie. Pow. Rowlet. Electro Power. Galarian Derimaka. We got a uh, Psychic Energy. An Eevee. Great Ball. Swablu, Double Colors Energy, Pikachu, Hop, Cubone, Machoke, Professor's Research, Water Energy, Great Ball, Fire Energy, Cutie Fly, Bead, we got a Metal Energy, Phantom, Morpeko, Pumpkaboo, Big Malasada, Water Energy, Drowsy, aka Bill Cosby, we got Spinarak, Water, Water, and Water. All right. So we'll put that over in N's pile, so that way he can get those. I'm actually just going to put it there. There. And this one is for me. Let's see. Well, that did not open the way I had intended it to, but you know what? The end result is the same. That's all that matters, right? All right. So we have a Drud again. We have a Delmise, a Dodrio, Manectric, Heatmore, Clefable, oops, Loudred, it's not sticking together here, Exploud, oh my gosh, 
Mantine, you know what it is? It's, it, there's like one sleeve card that's messing me up here. It's the Stoutland from Sun and Moon Base. Zeb Strika. Shenanigans. Oh my god, shenanigans. With the shenanigans, of Fart course. noise. Real mature. <laughs> Incineroar and a Galarian Linoon. So thank you very much, Gunner, for sending these in. This is very awesome of you. And I will be sure that we get those signature cards out to you as well, as promised. All right. Let's see. This. There. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll do this one. This one next. So this is from Aiden, which I feel like I'm, I, I feel like I've seen this name before. Foot. Nice try. That, that that's not a part. Of it. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this name before, but I could be mistaken. I'm not 100% certain, but um, it just looks familiar for some reason. All right, so we have Dear K and Never Ever Gonna Be N. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aiden, FB Buggy or FP Buggya. I watch you guys in my house on kids YouTube. I am nine years old. I love Pokemon Go and Pokemon cards, so I will give you my trainer code so we can be friends on Go. Please sign the cards and send back them K sign only the cards in the sleeve that says sign. Uh, w is for Whalemers, because I know you I know that you don't want to shower someone with them. Boy. <laughs> N means for never gonna be N. K means for K. Enjoy the other stuff. Ha 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 ha. Wah ha 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 ha. From Aiden. Pee pee poo poo tee hee hoo hoo. I guess we're full of children in this stream today. Jables! <laughs> oh goodness. Thank you very much though for the 10 bits. Whoa! Anonymous! Who did it? Can you see this will be a world of pure imagination until they start to scream everyone run new key out. Who did it? Let's see if my phone gives it away. Will it be given away? I know who it is! I'm not gonna say though. Well, that's new. I know who did it. I know who did it. I won't give you away though, don't worry. <laughs> I know, I know. It's for you to find out. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Adelicia, thank you very much for the tier Tell one resub my for three months. Off. And <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, but like I said, Adelicia, thank you for the three months of subscriptions as well. Uh, why is Frog and Deer cut up? This isn't right. How are you going to do this to my boy? Why? Why Frog and Deer? And Froakie? What? Froki, why? Froki and Frogadier and a different Frogadier. And there's an N. N all ripped up. What? And a Sobble? Sobble too. Wow. Okay. Oh, and a Drowsy. So we got a ripped Bill Cosby as well. There's just Carnage here. It's a puzzle. <laughs> the Carnage is real. Excuse me. I'm going to have to figure that one out later. All right, so we have N. W is for Whalmer. So there's a Whalmer. <laughs> Big Pikachu Angel, thank you very much for the resub for 21 months now. Thank you so much. Uh, there is the two Whalmers that were mentioned earlier. The W for Whalmer. I thought W was for Wumbo, though. What happened to Wumbo? These are to be signed. So we're going to be signing a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, my gosh. Charizard, Spearling, Cherubi, Scorbunny, Valtoy, Steven. Rip Ribbit. Rip Ribbit. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jables, for the 10 bits. Uh, Phoebus, Heatmore, Lombre, Power Memory, and a Swirlix. So all those are supposed to be signed. I need to get that envelope back so I can keep track of that. I was not expecting that, so I got to make sure that I, uh, I don't mix anything up here. All right. So, N, we have his favorite Pokemon of all time, Slowpoke. We got the Giggity. Oh, piece of Froakie. And Halucha. Hello. 
He didn't read the rest. That's what you get. <laughs> yeah, I see the name, but you forgot like a letter in it. And yeah. <laughs> We've got a semi sage, a pan sage, a semi poor, an ambipom, a drowsy, and an apom. So another piece of froki too while we're at it. Uh, lots of monkeys is the theme for that one. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, thank you very much for that. Who did this one? Who's going to be responsible? Oh, okay. I know who that is. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So next up, this is a very large envelope. Oh, my gosh. What happened to my color balance? It's on automatic uh, adjustment there. I think the, uh, the orange is a bit too bright for it. <laughs> hey, piece of froki. Hey, piece of froki. Ooh, piece of froki. <laughs> so this is from TL Warrior Thomas. There are actually two submissions here in this envelope. Um, two separate submissions because he did send two at a time. Um, not at a time, but, you know, two of them in the last couple of weeks. So we're going to do this one first. There are some cards, huh? Yeah? Score Bunny Jumbo Promo. I think this came out of the partner packs, if I'm not mistaken. Which I have not opened yet, but we will we'll be opening later today. So thank you for that. Alright, signature... Signatures. Uh, note time. Hey, Pokemon Evolutionaries! TL Warrior Thomas here again! Hi, Thomas. Today I sent you a Snomlucha, a fusion of Snom and Halucha, that I drew for N. Sorry, not sorry. I'll be sure to show him, don't worry. I also sent a bunch of artwork that I combined into a poster based on a story in my TL continuity called TL Monster Wars, which is a crossover with my TL Warrior Thomas character. His name is Mega Primal Kai form, or in his Mega Primal Kai form, teaming up with Ash from Journeys, uh, Tai from Digimon, Yugi Moto from the Dark Side of the Dimensions version, uh, and Dan from Bakugan. Hope you all enjoy the artwork as I work on Common. Rider case final form. They want to mess that up. So I always mess it up. I keep wanting to say Cayman, but common. Uh, and sincerely, TL Warrior Thomas. Oh, shoot! Check out Snob Lucha! Yes! This is like the best crossover ever. I could not have possibly envisioned a better design for Snob Lucha. Yes! This is fantastic. Oh, I love this. See, here's the thing. He can't hate it because it's part Snob. So, he's going to have to love it, or at least like it, or at least be okay with it, which is definitely better than the normal Halucha. <laughs> oh, look at this. TL Monster War. So, there is all the different characters that he was talking about right there. That is super cool. There's Ash. There's Yugi. I know you said there was a couple of others there. Um, Ty. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then... Um, yeah, your character in the Mega, Mega, Mega Primal Kai form. Yeah. That is awesome. Especially Yugi. I like the way you drew Yugi. Very, very cool. And we also have the Mega Primal Kai, which of course is that character right there. Uh, the Metal Programmer concept art from January 4th. Okay, so this was from January. Uh, this was going back. Oh, this is over the time that you've done these. Okay. Yeah, December 18th. And July 29th of 2020. And then April 21st of 2021. April 21st. Oh, War Greymon fan art. Very nice. Um, I knew exactly who that was right away. Dark Magician, obviously. And then you've got the Bakugan there as well, all from April. And then the characters, all of them drawn out here uh, separately away from that, uh, from the poster. So these are all super cool. I, I gotta say, like, I, I'm continually still the most impressed with Yugi. Like, this is, like, dead on. I love this. Like, they're all great, but, like, Yugi is my favorite, without a doubt. That's super cool. Definitely awesome, man. I appreciate all the art that you send us. Like I said, I still have everything you've ever sent, and that's quite a bit. 
um, back in that bin in our in our storage area. All right, and then for cards, we have the Tangela. Oh, look at this Graveler. Ah, such cool artwork on these. Uh, Mill Tank. We've got Electabuzz. Oh my gosh, back to E series. Uh, Solosis, upside down Solosis. <laughs> Uh, water and fire energies as well. Very nice. I always love seeing these older cards come through every once in a while. The nostalgia. And then for me. Oh, those are for N. Okay. And then these are for me. Drift Blim. Actually, he keep those in my baggie for him. If you're not too seriously, busy Thomas, you're absolutely right. Maybe we can get to that command done. We will see. Um, yeah, I don't know how long the stream is going to go, and <laughs> we'll have to see. But uh, definitely, if not, then tomorrow. Uh, tell you what, just message me what the command is. How about that? Message me on Twitter what the command is, and then I'll make sure it gets done. Triplim. Uh, focus. 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 There we go. Oh, hey, there we go. We got Natu. Going back to the Neo era on that one. Fossil Cloister. Oh, man. I can still remember opening up Fossil Packs. I was just getting into... Um, let's see. I wasn't in high school yet, but I was opening Fossil Packs when I was just getting into my freshman year of high school still. And I remember Fossil was one of the ones that I just could not get enough of uh, at the time. Bronzong. Dark Eradicate Team Rocket Returns. Holy cow. That's a set you don't see it. cards from. Uh, ever anymore. Ella Kid Delta Species. Dragon Frontiers. And then a Grottle. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for sharing all of these older cards with me, man. These are super, super cool. It's very nice to see them, you know, just as a surprise out of nowhere in this day and age. <laughs> Shenanigans. Terry small mods here than there are Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Surely one of them must know how to do commands. If not, that's a big... Oh, boy. They know how to do commands, but I'm the only one that can put them into the bot, I feel like, other than Lucy. Um, So that uh, is why usually I just have people message me directly. Or her. Either way. Alright, so moving on to the second part of TL Warrior Thomas uh, Mail. Hello. Hey, again, I'm sorry. Hey, Pokemon Evolutionaries. TL Warrior Thomas here again with more mail. This time I send the artwork of Common Rider K's final form. Thank you so much for putting the pronunciation there every time. Because even when I don't, like, even when I know what it is, I still need it. <laughs> Common Rider K, Mega Professor Form, which is based on Mega Evolution, if that wasn't obvious. I also sent a cardboard prompt to achieve this final form. That would be this right here. Seems like it'd go very, very well with a Greninja. Just saying. And then also this as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I also sent a cardboard prompt for the form, which is this. This is this is the this is what's used to achieve the form. This is the upgraded sword prop called the Mega Evolutionary Blade. I also sent a second poster of my TL Warrior. Uh, TL Monster Wars poster for Professor N to keep. Stay awesome and hope everything is going okay with you and your family. Sincerely, TL Warrior Thomas. All right, so there's an upgraded one. Um, is it different? It looks the same. Unless was this in the background of it before, or is this a little bit different? What, what what's a little bit different on this one? Finally, you got it right. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Um, but otherwise, yeah, it does kind of look the same on that one. But I'll wait for you to say something there. There's the Evolution Blade. It's the same poster. Okay, that's what I thought. There is the Mega Evolutionary Blade concept art, and here it is come to life. That is very, very similar. Uh, you can see there's green there. It's a little bit harder to see, I feel like, on the camera, but there is a green uh, that matches with this as well. Copy for N. Okay. See, I, saw, I thought you said upgraded. Yee. Or did it's I copy see something end. else? Okay. Oh, an upgraded sword. Okay, never mind. I thought it was an upgraded poster. It's a copy for N. All right, and there's the blade there. So it matches up. 
Then we have the um, the Mega Professor form. And then the Mega Professor Brace concept art, which is, oops, right here. Very nice, very nice. And then, this is the, oh no, is that the Mega? No, it is the same. Okay, yeah, this is just drawn a little bit differently. This is the uh, Common Writer K Mega Professor form concept art as well. So, this is awesome. I really appreciate the creativity that you put into these. Like, they're definitely, like, really planned and thought out. And not to mention, you would then go ahead and turn the concept art into something that's actually real. So, this is really, really cool. Don't stop creating. Super awesome. Um, just taking the time to make this stuff is really, really cool. So, thank you very much for sharing this. All of the stuff that you do with us. Uh, I'll be making the sound demo for the form before Monday. Very nice. Yes, and I remember when you used to send, uh, or you not used to, but you've sent over different things that have the audio in them. Um, it's been very, very impressive. So I definitely keep this up because this is this is really cool. Thank you again for sending those in. And then we have some cards here again as well to go with that. And we have another Common Rider K card. I see the Mega Professor form. There it is. That's going to go right with the rest of them. And then, for cards, we have the Graveler, an Elekid, Sandshrew, is that, uh, that's Supreme Victors, I believe. Got a Grass Energy, Lilip, and a Temple from Noble Victories. Very, very cool. Alright, thank you, Thomas, very much for sharing these. Super awesome of you, man. Actually, since these are mine, I want to make sure that I don't put them in the bag, because end stuff is in the bag. Put that over there. All right. Next up, we got three boxes left. We are not done yet. I don't think he's here anymore. He was here, but I think he had to work. So, this is coming from Epic Fail Time. I've had a little bit of warning about this particular package, so... I kind of know a little bit about it. I don't know everything about it, but I know a little bit about it. There's a binder in here. I know the cards that are in here. Oh, there he is! He is sort of here! <laughs> Groval, you should be very concerned, my friend. You should be very concerned. So, there's a running little gag joke slash channel thing going on around here. Thank you for the 15 bits, Thomas. I got to go now. Have a good night, everyone. You too, Thomas. Thank you again for everything. I know you uh, usually have to go pretty early, so thank you for being here. Thanks for sending the mail. You're awesome. We appreciate you, man. Have a great night. Um, but yeah, there's a running thing going on here that Grovile is a terrible cook. It's actually serious. Yeah, it's not really a joke. Like, it's a real problem. It's something that requires some help. And one day... We'll get you taken care of, Grovile. I promise it'll all be okay. We'll make you a, no a normal cook at some point. But until then, um, it looks like we have a binder just for Grovile. <laughs> what? What the? What? I got two dollars. <laughs> All right, two dollars. There's a note. Suspicious food tin. Hmm. There seems to be quite a lot of Grovile's cooking in this binder. Let's read the note. Dear Professor K and Slow Blow Loving N, hope you all are doing well with the upcoming wedding of Grovile to the love of his life. Dugong. Yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, that's another Twitch thing that you just have to be here for. We have a lot of interesting uh, things that occur with, uh, well, everything. Uh, I thought I'd send some catering for the wedding. <laughs> oh, yes, this is fantastic. The Kaz, thank you so much for the resub for 14 months in a row. This is your catering. So your cooking is your catering. Epic fail time, a.k.a. Mike. All right. Yeah. So, as I said before, we have some suspicious food tins of your cooking. This is your catering for the wedding, my friend. I hope you enjoy all of this amazing 
lovely catered food just for you. All of the suspicious food tins. What? Oh man, that dollar bill seen some better days. There's another dollar in here! All right, three dollars. Is this what? There's not money behind all of the cards, but there's money behind some of the cards. That's eight. I know what you did. I know exactly what you did. There's no way. Eight. Eight? Eight. You know what eight means on this channel. That means there's a two in front of it. Aha! No, 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 there's a 10. There's a 10. There's a 10. I'm telling you, there's another 10 in here. I know there's another 10 in here. You can't tell me there's not another 10 in here. Are you going to do the first IRL? The Mad Lad has done it. It is an IRL yeet. 20 yeets. <laughs> the man triggered an alert with real cash. <laughs> yeet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. There's the actual alert with another 28. The man just dropped $56. What the heck? You got the first and only cash IRL yeet. <laughs> I salute you, sir. I salute you. What is this? <laughs> yes. Yes, this is amazing. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is this is great. This is great. And there is the rest of the Look at this. He filled a whole binder with suspicious food tins. And actually, this last page has double just to make up for the fact that there isn't another slot right here. Like... <laughs> oh my gosh. Epic Fail Time just said I got to one-up Black Cat. Black Cat is the yeet king of this channel. And you just one-upped him with a real-life... Real, a real-life yeet. That is incredible. Now, Meggy, oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I'm invited to your wedding, Girl Val, because it looks like you're going to need a lot of people to eat all of this suspicious food that's in these tins. Epic Veil Time, this is epic. You have lived up to your name, sir. You have lived up to your name. Dude, thank you so much for <laughs> the IRL yeets. That is just fantastic, dude. Thank you so much. And then also to trigger it in real life as well, with the stream with another 28 hats off to you sir this is great oh my gosh i love it i love it i thought the food tins was funny enough when we first talked about it and you told me you were going to do it i was like yes i love it and then you went and just topped it all <laughs> fantastic oh man too, too much, man. Too much! Ah, uh, Jables, thank you for the 10 bits! Yee. Oh, is the command work? 
Exclamation mark bet is now a command to let everyone know. Did Lucy, did Lucy uh, add, it, add the command in there? Petted Arcanine for being the goodest of boys. Ah, thank you, Lucy, for... Ah, oh, shoot, I messed that up. John Cena! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Listen closely, Black Cat. Black Cat is no longer the Yeet King. The crown goes to epic fail time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's that's not good. <laughs> Um, Lucy, thank you so much for taking care of that um, that that uh, command for me. I appreciate it. I didn't even think to have him message you. I, I I'm so sorry, uh, Jables, for delaying that on you. But um, Lucy, thanks for taking care of that. Really appreciate that. Who did the two dollars though? Is that Grovile? Grovile is known for the two dollar donations. I feel like that was Grovile. I feel like it was. Oh, there's the add a command. Okay, it's officially paid for with channel points. Jables, you are good to go. Um, again, epic fail time. Thank you for this. This is fantastic. This is this is really good. I like this a lot. Um, and speaking of Black Cat, speaking of Black Cat, how appropriate is? I didn't even plan this to happen the way that it has happened, but I put Black Cat's box right underneath Epic Fail Time's box. So Epic Fail Time just went with the suspicion. Yeah. 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 Dang it! Yeah. Let's have everyone watch some ads. <laughs> We're gonna have ever watch some ads in the middle of a video? <sighs> alright, alright, alright. I said I couldn't do the other one, so I can at least do this one. Alright. Let's see. Don't worry. It's only gonna be one quick one, and then... Um, yeah, we'll get to the other part. But the Black Cat Box is up next. Alright. So, for the recording that are still here. Um, this box came from Black Cat. Now, Black Cat is the one we're talking about right now. The Yeet King of the channel, or at least was the Yeet King of the channel, according to whoever donated the $2 there. Grow out. <clears throat> Stainzy, yo, Sierra, thank you so much for the two. Tier two, the tier two for 12 months. That is one solid year. Thank you so, so much for that. Really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so this is a box from Black Cat. Now, I just got to make sure that I don't show anything because I promised I wouldn't. Hello! I had no warning. I had no warning. What? What is this? Uh Hello? What? After that last video, I feel like I have to check like all the, the packaging material just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I never know what anybody's up to anymore these days. I think there is a note. Yeah, the note is right there. Get to that here in a second. Make sure you didn't hide anything in here. <laughs> some people like to do that apparently. <laughs> yeah, this is um this is a lot of Dragon Ball and something else I've never even seen before. Vanguard? I have never seen Vanguard before. This is interesting. <laughs> Hello, Professor K and Assistant N. Me again, and I found a bigger box. <laughs> you don't say. Uh, I'm sending some more stuff from my collection. There, there will be... There will be the rest of my... <laughs> Anonymous. Oh, boy. Epic fail time will always be better than Black Cat. He is no longer the Yeet King and was even too scared to honor the request of the Mega Yeet from the fan. He is now the Yeet Dance. Oh boy. 
there will be the rest of my Dragon Ball Super Packs and, for something new, a box of Vanguard cards. Enjoy and keep up the good work, Black Cat. I like that you use the Pikachu stamp, by the way, on these notes. It gives it a nice nice character to it as well. Um, yeah, that's a lot of Dragon Ball Packs, dude. This is probably more Dragon Ball Packs than I've ever seen in any store ever. Uh, because they're so hard to find and there's so many different sets in here. What in the world? Okay, let's get this all together. Um, we're probably going to make this into another video. Well, we are going to make this into another video. For number one, for the interest of time, and number two, because this deserves its own video as well. Um, wow. Oh, snap, indeed, G-Baby Swag. Yes, 100%. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, snap. So, Malicious Machinations, Clash of Fates, Salt of the Saiyans, Vermilion Bloodline. So, this is mostly Malicious Machinations here. Clash of Fates, Clash of Fates, Vermilion Bloodline, Vermilion Bloodline. Okay, so yeah, it's mostly Vermilion Bloodline and Malicious Machinations, but we also have one Assault of the Sands and two Clash of Fates, which I feel like Clash of Fates was one of the last sets that I remember opening um, a while back, 2019, that would make sense. I don't remember if we, I think we, well, we did open Malicious Machinations, I think at some point too, but Vermilion Bloodline is one that I'm not too familiar with. George the Jigglypuff Dingus! <laughs> Who is playing with the names? I am now the Jigglypuff Dingus. <laughs> Somebody's playing with the names. Uh, Black Hat, dude, this is so awesome, man. I cannot wait to get into these Dragon Ball Packs. I wish Noel was here. I'm gonna probably wait. You know what? I feel like I should wait for him because not only for Dragon Ball but also because he actually knows about Vanguard and actually enjoys Vanguard as well. I'm not familiar with it. I don't know if I'd like it or not because I've never opened anything from Vanguard. I think I'm going to wait until he's here if we can um, do this one together. I feel kind of bad leaving him out of this one. So we'll probably have to make another video of that one. Yeah, I want N to be in it. We'll save it for that. Uh, but Black Hat, that's, that one is the newest set. Oh, okay. See, I didn't even realize. It's been so long um, since I've really been... Well, this might be a different one, but anyways, um, Black Hat, thank you so much for this, though, dude. This is really, really awesome. And you know what's funny? You sent me, the, you sent the picture of all of your stuff to the Discord server, and I feel like this was like, well, it was all of it, right? I feel like that's what you said. That's a possibility too. I guess I started the name thing now. Before the yeah, I guess so. Stream tomorrow. Yeah, that picture you sent. This was all those packs. I thought it was. That is craziness, dude. You are too kind. Too kind, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to have a really good time with this one for sure. Um, and yeah, maybe I can do it with Noel um, before the TCGO stream. I mean, I guess I could pull it from... Oh, well, maybe, maybe... No, no, because we don't have the dual cam set up for that. Mm, nah, we'll probably, probably have to wait for the next one. But the next stream is going to be in two weeks, so there wouldn't be much of a wait on those, I don't think. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put that over there. So again, Black Hat, thank you so much, man. This is this is just super cool of you, dude. Let me put this over here, and let's get some love in the chat for Black Hat, who is obviously very, very awesome. Um, and then, yeah, we got one more. One more. I thought he was going to be here when I did some. Yeah, he was supposed to. See, the whole reason why this stream couldn't happen tomorrow is actually because, um, Victoria is my stepdaughter. She's got to dance tomorrow. And uh, the house is going to be crazy getting her ready and stuff. And it's just too much of a hecticness to make it happen with all the stuff that has to go on. Nobody can be quiet, you know, to do videos. Um, so I had to move it to tonight. But we'll make sure that he's a part of that 100% because I know that he would want to be a bigger part of that. And um, thank you for understanding on that. Thank you again for sending them. Okay. Next up, we have a package here from... Well, the final package, I should say, is from... Summertime and Foxhole, who are at least one of you are in the chat. I see your name, Fox. There you are. You're both here. Okay, cool. Sometimes I know one of you can't make it, so they're both here in the chat uh, currently. And I picked this box up today as well as uh, a bunch of the other ones uh, that were here. Now, I saw the Discord, so I know that there's some packs in here as well. So we will be opening up this probably, um, depending on what all is in here, um, shortly after this video is done being recorded um but yes so they sent this package let's see what we got 
Well, I can see it in the camera. Whoa! That's a lot of Pokemon. Holy moly. We got three three-pack blisters. Jolteons. We got uh, Battle Styles out the wazoo. My goodness. Uh, there's a Galarian Rapidash box. Hey, we're going to be opening up these later today, too. You know what? I'm going to open up this one right now just to give people who watch this video something to see because I'm opening up a whole case of these later on in the stream. So we'll open this one for sure uh, in this video. You guys found Shining Fates in the wild? Are you serious? Poltegeist and Dedene. And then Mr. Rhyme as well. Holy cow. See, it's one thing to find battle styles, but to find shiny fates. Well, obviously, Grovile got lucky with it, but yeah, there is that. Um, okay. So then there's this as well. I'm not sure what this is, but this is an Eevee. Oh, this is cute. This is adorable. Let me get this open up here. I should read the note first, but, you know, I'm a child and I have to... Look at all the pretty stuff. <laughs> Look at the Eevee! Oh, that's so cute. This is from the Pokemon Center. That's actually a different tag that I've never seen before. But this is an official Pokemon Center Eevee. Very, very soft. Very cute. Boop. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to read the note now. I'm going to be good. Kind of. Dear Professor K, hello, how are you? Doing well. Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. Now you just said that. It's been cold and rainy here. Wayne, Foxhole, and I have been walking more recently. We're trying to get ready for a 5K at the end of the month. He recently got approved for bariatric surgery, and I've been trying to get him to exercise more and eat healthier. Are you enjoying new snaps so far? Yes, definitely. Uh, we both like it a lot. Well, without further ado, this time I have included one Galarian Rapidash V-Box for K, three Battle Styles Blisters, one for K and M. Lucas, three Shining Fates Mad Party Collections, again, one for each of you, a Beach Bag and an EV Plush, from Mrs. K. Sincerely, Summer and Wayne. Well, I am very excited for you um, for walking more recently. That is actually something I've been doing as well. I've kind of been sharing that um, in some of the streams where I'm trying to get more active and lose some weight. Good news is I've lost about 12 pounds. So if I can do it, you can too. Keep it going. Wish you the best of luck on that. And also for the surgery as well. And also very good luck with the 5K as well. Uh, that is something that I would love to do, but I've got to keep working. A little bit harder to get back to that point again also eating healthier so i am with you and i feel your pain i know it's not easy but we can do it all right thank you very much for that note and also for all of this awesome stuff this is exciting um i guess since noel isn't here some of it i'm gonna have to wait for them to be here for Hello. uh that makes it a little bit more difficult but we'll figure it out so <laughs> while the dugong boy oh no oh no Grovile, you are a complete dugong boy, and you can't deny that. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Silver Sonic, gifting a sub to Devin the Cyndaquil. Thank you so much, Silver Sonic, for gifting that sub out to Devin for seven months now. And also, thank you, dugong, Grovile the dugong boy, for the $2 donation. So this is a beach bag, and it's got Pokemon on it, as you can see. Um, let's see, I see Wartortle, I see Squirtle, I see Krabby, I see Alolan Exeggutor, I see Mudkip, and Totodile. I think that's everybody that's... Oh, nope, I see Azumarill, I see Slowpokes, I see Vaporeon, I see Slowbro. I see... I think I said Pikachu before, but there's Pikachu. That is that Esper, and Ducklet, and Bulbasaur, and... I think that's Piplup, but I could be wrong. But there's a good Pokemon in there. Anyways, I could be here all day. And then Lapras. Let's see, there's a Tentacool, and a Pikachu, and a Lone Executor, and a Wingull, and a Slowpoke, and a Horsey. So this is a very cool bag. I know she will definitely love this. And you can see Pokemon right there. This is really neat. Pokemon Sunset. Mesh Beach Bag. Which is perfect because beach season is definitely, definitely here in Florida. It's very, very warm and very hot. Couldn't say warm. It's hot. It's just hot. So I'll make sure we get these over to Mrs. K. Thank you so much for all of this. Uh, I'm going to open up the Galarian Rapidash uh, V box first. Now, technically, this is the first one I'm opening. So um, yeah, this will actually go up first too, believe it or not. 
So I guess this is kind of the reveal of the Galarian Rapidash V box before we open up the case of them. So Galarian Rapidash V is uh, this box right here. It's a very pretty box. It's got a lot of sparkle to it. A lot of glitter. Very uh, My Little Pony-esque feel to it. And Grovile, guess what? We're going to read the back of the box. Yeah, we're doing it. Unleash the psychic prowess of Galarian Rapidash V. Galarian Rapidash V is known for the devastating psychic type attacks it sends out from its long, spiraling horn. And now that power can be yours. Alongside a playable foil promo card featuring this pretty pastel Pokemon, plus an almost oversized card suitable for display, you'll find extra treasures and a handful of Pokemon TCG booster packs. Chase down this forest beauty with the Pokemon TCG Galarian Rapidash V box. <laughs> oh, I love torturing Grow Bob by reading the back of the box. All right, so let's go ahead and crack into this and see what kind of uh, stuff we got inside. Eh. Open up. Let go. All right. All right, we're going to look at the Jumbo promo just because it's easier to see, but there is obviously a smaller version of this. Uh, this is Sword and Shield promo number 111, and this Galarian Rapidash V has 210 HP, Libra Horn, put damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 100. Oh wow, so it brings it down to 100. Imagine if you have something that's like 300 plus, you just bring it down to 100 with a double colorless. Well, double colorless isn't around right now, but you know with two colors energy. Psychic does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, so 60 plus 30 for each more. Very cool. And then the promo card will go into the collection, and the TCGO card should be here somewhere. We're going to give that one back to you guys. So there's a Galarian Rapidash V box code. Feel free, somebody, to grab that, clip it, take it, whatever you'd like to do with it. There it is. It is all yours. That over there, and that over there. Keep this card somewhere safe, because I always keep one of the promo cards. I may not be able to collect full sets anymore, but I still collect the promo cards. So, that will go into my promo card collection. Alright, we got four packs here. We got Battle Styles, we got Darkness Ablaze, another Battle Styles, and a Crimson Invasion. This must be the new Evolutions. <laughs> We're going to start with the Crimson Invasion, though. See if we get anything good out of this. Three, and energy, and two. All right. <clears throat> so we got a Staryu, a Pumpkaboo, Stuffle, Alolan Geodude, Cacnea, Devoured Field, Piloswine, Psychic Memory, Regigigas, Reverse Rare, and an Oranguru, Regular Rare. So... Let's see if we do that, 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 da, 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 yee! Yeah, go, thanks for the 10 bits. In Dr. Eggman Robotnik voice. <laughs> take this, take this, take this. <laughs> oh, yes. Boy, that, uh, that brings back some memories, doesn't it? We got a Spiro, Sizzlipede, Shinx, Cacnea, Pawniard, Challenge failed! Weeping Bell. NDD. Swordward and Shieldbert. Reverse is a Primeape Reverse Hollow Rare and a Conkelder. Regular Rare. Alright, we're gonna do the last battle styles before we do Darkness Ablaze for the final pack. Oh look, Grovile, you got a Silly Cobra! I know that makes you happy. All right. Silicobra. Bellsprout. Onyx. Spiro. Sizzlipede. Bisharp. And Dr. Eggman. Challenge failed. Voice. Take this. Take, Take this. this. Take, Take this. this. Take this. <laughs> Baby. Battle style. A rapid strike style. Mustard. And a Luxray Hollow. All right. And then that can go right there. So, trying to get myself set up for the rest of the openings here. I have a certain style of uh, separating cards out in real time, actually codes, and then go here. All right, last pack. Three, one, two. 
four different energies as well. We got a Sentret, a Rowlet, Shove It, Squub It. We have three straight Pokemon that end with Et. Spinarak, Larvesta, Toxapex, Big Parasol, Shinotic, Lunatone, Reverse, and that is an Uncommon, and a Muck. Regular, rare. Every time you pull nothing, you get 10 cents. <laughs> well, there's another one. Where's my 10 cents? <laughs> nah, just kidding. Thank you very, very much. Summertime and Wayne for sending all of this amazing stuff. Again, I'm probably going to have to wait on the rest of it. I didn't realize uh, there would be separate stuff for me, Noel, and Lucas. So I'll make sure we're all together for this as well. Uh, and that will be the next stream 100%. So thank you guys both very, very much for sending that over. And one last thing. You guys thought I was done, but I'm not completely done. Take this. Take this. Take, Take this. this. Oh, he wasn't kidding. All right. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So, the last thing is a gift that uh, I've received as well, but it wasn't through the mail. It was something digitally, and it's actually something that was uh, communicated in a previous stream. It wasn't during a TCG opening stream. It was during our regular... Um, Tuesday and Friday night streams. I can't remember if it was Tuesday or Friday. I think it was Friday, right? I think it was on a Friday, actually. Um, that would be John Price, who is one of uh, the top contributors to our channel uh, and a very, very awesome guy and been a huge part of the community and just really kind of brought a lot of people together. So um, John Price is uh, a really, really good friend that is also a fellow Bucks fan, and he knows how much I love the Bucks. So he decided to surprise me by saying that uh, he was going to give me the tickets to the home opener, which now we know is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Dallas Cowboys. And that's going to be uh, Thursday, September 9th at 8.20 p.m. So earlier uh, this week, the tickets actually did come through and he transferred them over to me. Now, I just took a screenshot real quick of um, just the screen that shows, but... I took my name off it, all the other pertinent information, but this right here is the tickets. So two tickets to the Cowboys versus Bucks at Raymond's James Stadium. I have it in my account right now on my Bucks account, so everything is there. And um, I just want to say a big thank you once again to John Price for really making a, a dream truly come true because I've never been to a Bucks home opener, let alone the very first one after they win the Super Bowl. So it's going to be very, very exciting uh, to see that starting game, like coming fresh off being Super Bowl champions. So once again, yes, I completely agree. Blue Grovile, big round of applause for Mr. John Price because that is just an extremely epic gift. Now, I did not realize that his season tickets were in the place that they are either. But if you are familiar with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and their field at Raymond James Stadium, you would know that there is a pirate ship at the north end zone in the corner. And in that pirate ship are cannons that they fire every time they score a touchdown, uh, score points, I should say, um, get into the red zone, and also during introductions. And those cannons are very loud. These seats happen to be two rows in front of this pirate ship. So it's going to be a very, very loud Thursday, September evening for us <laughs> when we get the chance to go directly in front of the pirate ship and those cannons. So once again, John, cannot thank you enough. Um, I've only been to one NFL game in my life prior to this, and coincidentally, it was actually against the Cowboys. Go figure! DJ, thank you very much for the uh, for the sub. Oh, courtesy of Jables gifted that sub. Oh, I didn't see that until after it came through. Jables, thank you for gifting that sub to DJ. Very kind of you, sir. Um, but yes, I, I went to a game where it was Cowboys versus Bucks, and the Cowboys, they, they beat us pretty bad. But we're a much better team now, and I'm hoping for a different outcome. But it's going to be very exciting. So again, big shout out, big thank you, much appreciation to John Price for uh, making this happen. I mean, you, you guys see, look, at here's my here's my, the the thing on my phone. I mean, a huge Bucks fan. Like, you have no idea. My whole life, I've been a huge Bucks fan. More so, I think, than any other sport. Like, yeah, I'm a baseball fan in the in the sense that I do want the race to win. But 
I religiously watch every single Bucks game, even when they sucked. Like, we're talking all the way back to the, you know, late 90s where I can recall being a kid and watching. So, definitely a huge thing for me. So, thank you very, very much, John. Um, and I did not want to leave that out of this mail video because, nonetheless, it's still a gift that was sent over, even if it wasn't technically mail. So, again, thank you very much. And also, big thank you to everyone that contributed to this mail video in general. You guys are awesome, amazing. I love you all. Uh, I know this video went on way, way longer than probably most of you intended uh, most of you expected it to, and longer than I intended it to, but, um, again, thank you all so much for keeping this mail series going. Mega Mailbox Mania Monday has been a, a, an integral part of this channel, and is the only series that's left that has not fully died in some fashion. So I want to thank you guys for keeping it alive, and, and, and submitting to the series in general. Um, it's always fun to receive fan mail. Of course, it doesn't even have to be cards. I mean, it can just be letters or drawings. I mean, it makes no difference. Like, just having something here to open up for the mail, it's very, very, very uh, much appreciated, and we love you guys for doing that. So, um, if you would like to send something to P.O. Box uh, 15194, Brook, uh, Brooksville, Florida, 34604, that's also in the description down below as well. Um, yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content. And we will see you guys in the next one. Again, big shout out to the Twitch community for being here. Join us on Twitch as well for all the other streams. We'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a great day.